What's going on, lady? What's going on, lady? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? If I really had to make a choice between making decisions based on my own experience and asking others for help, I would honestly prefer the latter. To begin with, the first thing that came to my mind as I read this question is that asking others for assistance would be very beneficial. This is mainly due to the fact that doing so would enable people to acquire valuable insight from knowledgeable individuals and thus increase the chances of making the best decision possible. In addition to this, Making important decisions alone can be detrimental, since I usually end up encountering countless hardships and getting really stressed out if I try to figure things out without any previous experience. All right, now in this sample response, you don't have to say and thus increase the chances of making the best decision possible. You can just say and make the, the, the best decision possible or and thus make the best decision possible. So you don't need those extra superfluous words. Over here as well, you can just say, I usually encounter many hardships and get very stressed out when I try to figure things out on my own. You don't have to say, I usually end up encountering hardships and getting very stressed out. You don't need to say that. Although being able to come up with sentences like that and say them very, very fluently, no matter what, is going to be a bonus, a huge advantage for you, okay? So if you would like to work on making yourself sound more intelligent while saying basic things, work on those things, okay? Review the sample response that you just heard and practice until you get it. Let's move on to the next independent speaking question. In my eyes, the statement that technological devices distance people far more now than they did before doesn't ring true to me. To begin with, the first thing that came to my mind as I read this question is that using electronic devices is very beneficial. This is mainly due to the fact that doing so enables people to communicate with one another despite the time and even location. In addition to this, utilizing modern technology is also really convenient since Nowadays, making a call, sending texts, and emailing each other are all free thanks to the advent of modern technology. As a result, I definitely disagree with the given statement. All right, so this sample response was a little bit more realistic than the previous one since I got to the point without using any superfluous unnecessary words. Um, so yeah, getting to the point is always more advantageous since we only have 45 seconds to speak. So if you have a hard time coming up with personal examples for every single independent speaking question that you're given, don't do it because being a good storyteller is one of the uh, most precious and valuable skills that anyone can have. Um, a good storyteller is usually a best-selling author or a stand-up comic or just a person who gets along with others very well because they're able to produce small talk, um, lead, continue, and wrap up small talk conversations with anyone very, very well. So don't try to come up with a personal example for every single question that you are given because number one, it's, it's not going to be possible. You're, you're not like um, the great Gatsby who Who's a, who's a billionaire who can do literally whatever you want. So what I'm saying is the kind of upbringing that you had um, where you're demographically, geographically located to and you know the demographic that you belong to as well all have a direct influence on the kind of experiences that you've had so far. So if you don't have a personal experience that is relatable or um, pertinent to the question that you're given. I mean, for this one, I guess you can come up with a personal example, but the second issue is once you start a personal example, it, it becomes very hard to wrap it up if you didn't um, have it planned in advance, okay? So unless it's a premeditated personal example, you are probably going to encounter some difficulties, adversities, hardships, and 
obstacles or hurdles that you will have to jump over. So don't rely only on personal examples. Stick to facts if possible and mention something that's very, very short if you do want to mention a detail that is more subjective than objective. Okay? All right. That just about wraps up today's video. If you guys enjoyed the sample responses, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, share the content, but most importantly, if you are a self-disciplined and dedicated person, reach out to me about my tutoring services. Let's get the score that you need and deserve in 2020. Peace. See you in the next video.